What's up guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome back to my third week, or my personal second game, of the Battle Union. Today, we are up against the Twin Leaf Tyrants, managed by the uh, by Buys Productions. Now, I'm going to give you a prior warning. I am absolutely shattered right now. I've just played football in the sun, and I haven't had dinner yet. Um, I've... <laughs> I haven't actually drank enough water, instead I decided to drink cider, I thought that would be a good idea. Um, but, Bice has got 45 minutes to have this battle before he leaves to work, and the deadline is, well it's quarter past nine now, and the uh, battles will be going live from midnight tonight, so um, late minute game, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for music number 22, because, no, 23, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm hoping all my Pokemon go through Gen fine, no issues means we can get this battle done, and it means I won't have to get up stupid early in the morning tomorrow. Um, but yeah, basically, Bice Productions won both his games. I need to win this to have a chance of overtaking him. Uh, can I overtake him? Not even sure. Um, but I need this win, obviously. Uh, last week, we got a good 2-0 against Xenon. Stupidly, it, sh it should have been a 3-0, but I was stupid. Um, and we just want to continue the legacy for Sears, basically. That's all we need. Um, but as I said... Uh, we've got Bias Productions, and I have no idea about his playstyle whatsoever. However, <laughs> I was considering Hazard Stack again this week, but I was unsure if he'd be prepared for it. Now, he has one Spinner in Avalug, and one Defogger in Pidgeot. And between the two, they're obviously both weak to Stealth Rocks, so I figured Stealth Rocks is probably going to be important this game. So I did bring Stealth Rocks, but more importantly... He does not have a grass type, which means I can use Sleep Powder as long as it hits. It's like 75%. So, Age Slash Pidgeot, Weavar, the Trio, Clefable, and Raichu. Okay, so all interesting picks here. What do we lead off with? I'm thinking Low Punny, honestly. I mean, it's like the easiest thing. I will outspeed everything on his team. Uh, free Mega, why not? So good luck, have fun, buys. Basically, the plan is once Weavile's gone, and potentially Pidgeot, um, Landorus can clean up or do a lot. Basically, if I can get Landorus in on that Dog Trio or Clefable, I have a free hit, and he hasn't got a switch in because he can switch in an Aegislash Slash on a Poison move from the Clefable or a Steel move. Um, obviously, I have Sludge Wave, but. Um, he won't want to stay in and use Earth Power. Right, he's obviously taking his time. Oh god, I need to take a screen. I need to make notes here. Quickly, Jack. Camera. Camera, 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 go. Right, there's a picture taken. I have paper in front of me. Kind of. The same page as last week. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Don't leave me hanging like this, bro. Don't say the Pokemon have failed the genning. Come on, we can't do this. Anyway, you'll have seen, I hope I'll get the team preview up. I will get the team preview up first. Or it'll be in a different video anyway about my team selection. Basically, as you haven't seen yet, have you? I have Lopunny, um, Landorus, Vaporeon, Registeel, Roserade, and Granbull this week. Granbull is making an appearance. But good luck, have fun, guys. He said to me he feels like he's going to get absolutely destroyed this match. I don't feel that way. Our saviour is leading, and it's Pidgeot. Okay. So I do get the free fake out here, unless he's got the protect. This music... Oh, I'm feeling hyped. I'm feeling hyped. Let's go for that fake out. I have got the switch in with Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel takes 23 to 28% from a heat wave from a max special attack, modest Pidgeot. It's completely fine. He can switch into his Aegislash if he likes. But as you know, Mega Lopunny has Scrappy. Now... Lopunny could do a lot of work this game because I'm running Substitute. Predicting the King's Shield is going to be important. Very important. I'm running enough speed EVs to outspeed Scarf Tyrantrum. Luckily for me, he did not bring it. Because I do have Gramble and Registeel, which can... Uh, Registeel walls it. I mean, apart from Earthquake. Um, I don't even know if that would do much or not. Right, he does switch. What's he going to go out into? Is he going to go into his Clefable? That is indeed his Clefable. Now, is he going to go for, like, a Thunder Wave here or something? If I had a click return like a man, I don't know. It would have been nice. 
First turn fake out. It's a free Mega Evolution. Let's see how much this does. That is physically defensive. And I don't have knockoff. But if it's physically defensive, oh, Landorus is going to have a field day. Right, let's go into what do I have for this thing? I have Ice Gem, which is my life orb. I'm going to go into Titan. This is my chance to get my rocks up. I will scare him out. I don't actually have a steel move. I am running Earthquake, Rock Slide, um, Stealth Rock, and Rest. Now, the annoying thing is with Reggie Steel, I can't break Aegis Lash's um, substitute behind when he's in a uh, shield form. When he's in attack form, I can do like 50% without like any investment, which is brilliant. Right, let's go into Reggie Steel. Fire Block. Ooh, the miss. That's fine. It won't do much because I am specially defensive. I am Resto Chesto. If he wants to do that, that's fine. I will get my Stealth Rocks up. He did not bring Avalug. He did not bring Avalug, which means Stealth Rocks are going to be important. He can't stop me from putting these up. He could Arena. Oh, God. He's bought Dog Trio for this thing. I should have should have thought of that. I should have thought of that. He's going to go into Dog Trio. I've already clicked my move. I've clicked Stealth Rock. Which is frustrating. He's going to Arena Trap me. And if he doesn't, I'm going to be a lucky boy. A very lucky boy. Because that means I won't have a switch for Raichu. Necessarily. A good one, anyway. What's he got? What is he going to go into here? Doug Trio has to be his play here. But he might be fearing an Iron Head. And that will obviously do a lot. Is he going to go into the Doug Trio? Oh, I should have thought of that first. I'm making it too quick. Excalibur. He's going to age a slash. Okay. Now he's going to go for the sacred sword, I imagine. He might even go for swords dance, which is even spookier. But I'm going to go into Frido. Frido is like the only thing I have for this. If he's max attack, if he's max special attack, it's not so bad. Reg Steel will be able to take it on. But. Assuming he's going to be physically offensive, I have bought physically... I've bought a specially offensive Vaporeon, but it's also got bulk. Scald does 67-78% to offensive, and about 30% to defensive, but obviously the burn chance is very nice. So, we'll see what he wants to do here. I'm expecting the Sacred Sword. I'm very happy he didn't go into the Trio. Very, very happy. But this, he withdraws, which is nice. What's he going into here? Going to Dog Trio. Go on. I'll save you. He's going to Pidgeot. So he's going for. He's got Defog on his Pidgeot. He's got Defog on his Pidgeot. Which is interesting. Let's go for the Scald. See if he Defogs. He's got a Mega Evolve. Now, I'm not especially defensive, so Hurricane might do a lot. But honestly, the way he's brought this in, I think he might defog. Right, he Mega Evolves. Obviously, he had no choice. Can I get a Scald Burn? Will he have Roost? Toxic. He's brought Toxic on his Mega Pidgeot. I have Heal Bell. I do have Heal Bell on my Gramble. Which is nice. Oh, that's a solid two-hit KO. What's his switch in for this? What is his switch in? Has he got one? Yes, Clefable is his switch in. <laughs> um, Scald's gonna kill him again. What's he gonna go for? He's gone for the Toxic. He can't take another one. He has to keep this thing. Although rocks. So I'm gonna roar. He roosts. Should have scored it and gone for that burn. Or I could have even got the free switch into Gramble. So roost toxic. Age of Slash. That's cool by me. That is really cool by me. Is he leftovers? Because if he is, he'll get them now after this. He is leftovers. Okay. He won't necessarily want to stay in on a scald here. Plus, I'll outspeed, so I can go for two scalds in a row. Now, I honestly want to get Gramble in at some point, because I don't want this Toxic to rack up too much damage, but I'm going to go for another scald. He honestly might King Shield here. Hmm. 
Roost Toxic Pidgeot. Interesting. I honestly can't see him wanting to stay in. I honestly cannot. <laughs> but we have our rocks up, and he hasn't got a defogger. That's also going to hurt Weavile a lot. He stays in. Do I get the burn? Please get the burn. No burn. Sacred Sword. There it is. He has to King Shield. He has to King Shield. Now, I have to make a play here because Frido's going down a lot. I feel like Ice Gem's a safe switch because I have got the Hidden Power Fire. I also have Sleep Powder. I didn't bring Swamp at all for Alligator. Which is frustrating. Extremely frustrating. He is physical, so he's got Sacred Sword. King Shield is a given. Iron Head? I don't know if Iron Head would really benefit him in this game. Shadow Sneak might be more beneficial. Honestly, I need to get a switch into Gramble as soon as possible. And that switch in is Weavile. So, Tense. God, he needed a quick game. <laughs> There's the King's Shield, as I expected. He might King's Shield again here, although he might also fear the spikes. So, let's go for the Sleep Powder. And please, for God, hit. He withdraws. Weavile? No, he wouldn't be so aggressive, would he? Our saviour. He goes into Pidgeot. Please hit this. Yes! Come on! Something's getting sludge bombed here, and it's going to not appreciate it at all. He actually has no switch-ins right now, which is glorious. Is sludge bomb going to be enough to kill? I'm life orb. Ah! He lived! Which is annoying! <laughs> Oh, do I risk it? He has to roost. I haven't got a switch. He's using this as a chance to bring in Weavile, but that's a chance for me to... Yes, he stayed asleep. Come on! Thank you, Fufu. Thank you, Fufu. Right, that's a Roserade kill. There's the Weavile. <laughs> that is the best, hands down, best nickname I've seen. He might pursue me, actually, but I honestly don't think that'll do too much. Alright, it's going to grand bullshit right now. Yep, there's a the pursuit. I should. I called that. Oh my god, it killed me. Actually, you know what? It's not too bad. I still have Lando for Fable. I, I called it. I almost called it. He's choiced. He is choiced. He did not get life orb damage there. Could have clicked Thunder Wave there, actually. Easy. 
easy switch for him here would be Aegislash. He could be fearing the Earthquake, which I do have. And he is physical. There's the Age of Slash. No, Fable. Oh, that's fine. That honestly works for me. Now, what's he? Is he going to go for Stealth Rocks? What's he going to do here? Is he going to Toxic? I might just stay in Thunder Wave and take. No, because I have Heal Bell, so there's no point. He might knock off, actually. In which case, that's fine. I almost, I called that pursuit. I could have stayed in, you know what? I should have stayed in with Roserade because I've already said myself, Roserade isn't as important in this game. I could have stayed in Giga Drained. Go on, Jack, get back to your, back to your best, man. Come on, you've got this. You've got this. I wonder if his uh, Duck Tree has Aerial Ace. <laughs> he withdraws. What's he going into? Is he going to Aegislash? Oh, you are kidding me. He did not just make that play. He did not just predict that at all. There is no way. I could have. I don't agree with that. I could have clicked play rough. And that would have just destroyed this thing. I am physically defensive. I haven't got a switch in for this thing now. He might expect me to go into Registeel. Registeel is my thing that takes us on, but even Focus Blast is a lot. Damn, I... How much did... Uh, I don't know if that's Specs or... It might, it's Specs or Scarfed. I reckon it's Scarfed for low punny. Actually, I honestly do. That done nothing. That done pitiful damage. But I honestly don't know what this thing's going to do to me. He might... I need to get him down to the point where I can soft boiled and then go into Lando. That's what I think I need to do. So I'm going to play rough. He's on the back foot. He's the one who's not making the momentum. Or getting the momentum, I guess. If he goes into his uh, Age of Slash now, I'll be annoyed. If he goes back into Raichu, I'll be happy. If he goes into Weavile, I'll be happy. He wouldn't go into Weavile. Dugtrio. He needs to keep that thing for Reggie Steel. I feel as though once Clefable's gone, we'll be good to go. Green Blast. Oh, come on! It's now I wish I had a. Uh, I wish I had Iron Head on this thing. But I don't. I done nothing. That actually done nothing. Right, now I'm pulling the double into Lando. Because he's going to go for a Fire Blast or something. And L Lando is what I need right now. He might have the Ice Beam. Does this thing get Ice Beam? Fire Blast, Moon Blast, Soft Boiled. Have a quick look. I'm pretty sure this thing does get Ice Beam. He withdraws, which is good. What's he going into? 
Carolers. The trio. Nice! And now, he has nothing to resist this Earth Power at all. Hidden Power Ice Dog Trio, ladies and gentlemen. That did nothing. That's got to be a dead Dog Trio. It is a dead Dog Trio. Nice. Not even bad. Now he goes into Weavile again. But I'm... Is he going to pursue or not? Fucking mind games! Mind games! I need this for Clefable, otherwise I lose. So I have to try and preserve it. I have to try and preserve it. He's thinking, oh, I did go for pursuit! God damn it, Jack! No, oh, that's it. I How do I break his Confable? I've gone for sub now. No, 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 no. Oh, so bad. I should have known he was going to do it. I'm saying everything right and then I go against myself. And it's annoying. I should. Oh. So all my special attackers are gone apart from Vaporeon. Who can probably outstall. This thing is his lander as counter, so he might actually stay in, I guess. I will outspeed, so I'm gonna go I'm going for the sub. It's Choice Band Pursuit though, I'm sure he would have probably lived it. There's Annoy. Forcing him to attack now, which is good. But Return won't do anywhere near enough unless I get crits. I'm going to have a real problem taking this thing down. Hello, Pony, why don't you get, like, gunk shot or something? Oh, my God, a crit return would be enough. Now, the thing is, I have to attack again. I have to attack again. He's going to expect me to switch. Let's go for another return. You might even predict my switch into register. I have to make plays because both my things to take this thing have gone. And that's so annoying. That's my crit return. That's what I need. F yes! He overpredicted! <gasps> oh, yes! Do not burn me, I swear. If you burn me with Fire Blast, thank you. That has just saved me. The overprediction has just saved me. I said I said it. I'm clicking return. There is no reason for me not to right now. Lepani can clean up. Something dies now, basically, because I'm pretty sure his um Aegislash will die. He might even King Shield. Oh, that's a problem. Yes, yes, I made the right play again. Okay, that thing's gone. Now, concentrate. Aegislash, Raichu, Weavile. I need Low Punny for Fake Out on that Raichu. 
Although, Registeel is still a thing. Registeel is still a thing. I still have my Resto Chesto intact. Now, if I go out into... I'm going to go into Gramble. Sack it off. Gramble is not going to be performing anything anymore. Weavile's going to die to many any more. Uh, to some rocks, and it's fine. He's going to Volt Switch, surely. There you go. Now, what's he going into? Surely he'll go into Aegislash. And if he does, I go into Vaporeon. There it is! Because once Vaporeon's gone... Uh, once this thing's gone, Vaporeon is pretty much useless to me. Now I'm going to fire off Scalds for days. And I will get that burn. That's all I, all I need is a burn. Plus, if he goes into offensive form, that's uh, fine. He can't shadow sneak me, which is like one of the most important things. Now, is he going to sub or something? Expect if he swords dances, that's going to be scary. Then I stay in and just click Drain Punch on Low Punny. This is going to come down to the wire. And I've made... I could have I could have killed that Weavile so much here earlier. So much earlier. He's thinking, come on, Foo Foo. Foo Foo, hear my prayer. Please. <laughs> if he switches, that's GG to whatever he switches into. This is the bulkiest thing he has on his team. And scored done like 30% to it. School, please get the burn. It's all I'm asking for. No, no burn! I will live another attack. I will live this Sacred Sword. Quite comfortably, I might add. Now, here's the thing. I can protect and live another one, or I can wish. If I go for the wish, I can get my low punny back to max health. So let's click wish. He's got King Shield, otherwise he dies. And this could have just been the biggest misplay of my of the match. He has King Shield, otherwise he dies. Or switch. You know what? I should have clicked no, because he's got he's got to King Shield. He has to King Shield. It's the only thing he can do. Otherwise, I do outspeed with Wish. And I can freely click sub, and I'll get all my health back. And if he subs, that's perfect. If he attack uh, King Shields when I sub, it's good game. I expect he will have a uh, low kick on his Weavile. He is thinking hard. I think, okay, I think Wish is okay. Shadow Sneaks. That won't kill me. I'm sure it won't kill me. Yes! Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword, King Shield. 
Now, is he going to expect my protect here? Is he going to predict my protect? I kind of have no... Ch I have to, because he has Shadow Sneak. He has Shadow Sneak. I have to click Protect. If he has Swords Dance, then well. But he won't go back to... He won't go back to thingy form, and a plus two move will not kill me. So actually, it's not such a bad play using Protect. Honestly, if I was him, I'd be clicking Shadow Sneak right now. That would be my thought process. He'll have to get this thing dead, otherwise it stops him. Apart from Raichu, of course. Which, if he's smart, he would go into right now. Think about it? Yep, he could, he could just go straight into Raichu right now. And then click Volt Switch. He stays in. Is he going to Swords Dance? If he does, that's fine. He gets a Sacred Sword. Perfect. And I am at health where I am comfortable. A Scald will do a hell of a lot of damage to this thing now. Honestly, when this thing's gone, I can just click Fake Out. That's Scald. I'll have to King Shield. If he can shield, that's fine. I will get the burn. I've used three schools and not got one burn yet. <laughs> Annoyingly. He king shields, that's fine. Oh, I could have clicked wish again. There's the king shield. I'm at health now where I can just click schooled. And it's fine. And a plus two will not kill anything. If he gets a plus six, that might be a problem. Unless I burn him. Of course. Shadow Sneak doesn't affect low punny, that's all I have to remember. So if he gets the plus six, low punny comes in, that's fine. His other move must be Iron Head, because otherwise... Oh, I don't know. I honestly expect a Shadow Claw. I'm clicking Scalds. You haven't got a switch. It's like the perfect... I bought this thing to take it on if he has max attack. I don't even think he's max attack. The Sacred Sword isn't doing anywhere near as much as what the Calc said it should. Calc... I think Calc said 40 to 46. It's doing more like 30 to 35. I will burn this thing eventually. And if he goes to attack form, I'll just kill him. Well, a plus two Sacred Sword and a plus two Shadow Sneak might kill me, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is a way you can still win this game. It's so evenly poised right now. But a burn would make this so much easier. Honestly, if I was him, I'd sack Weaver right now. He switches, so something's probably going to die here. Two in the pink. There you go. Right, if he brings in Raichu, I'm going to click Protect. I will scout it out. I honestly don't think he should over, over predict at all here. Now the thing is, if he's nasty plot, this could be a lot of trouble. Although fake out, you know, I'll be I'll outspeed it if he's nasty plot. With low punny. Please click Focus Blast. Thunderbolt, okay. Now, is the switch into Registeel that obvious? Can I live one? Can I live one? I am bulky as fuck.
Uh, Vaporeon. Blank set. I am what? 144? And 4 in special defense. He is, let's go, Modest Raichu. Timid Lightning Rod. You're definitely a Lightning Rod. Modest Special Attack Thunderbolt. That will kill if he specs. He stays in. Which is good. Now we find out. Thunderbolt, okay. Should take this well. Registeel is such a goddamn monster. Now I click Earthquake. He withdraws. So Low Punny's fake out probably kill that thing. I mean, I'll outspeed unless he's scarfed, of course. Jesus, that done a lot. Oh, that was a crit. I don't think another one will kill. I'm going straight out to Frido right here. No reason for me not to. If he goes into Raichu, that's fine. Stealth Rock's damage guarantees that I kill him. Thank you for being frail, Raichu. 55 physical defense. Lovely. King Shield. Nice. And now we start clicking Scald. Now we start clicking Scald. Right, this will be a choke if I lose here. I cannot afford that. I just had to click Scald right now. He can King Shield all he wants. It's just helping me get my health back. If he is Scarfed, um, Specs will take me out. A modest Max Special Attack. Scarf will not. This is no item. He's not Life Orb. He's Choiced. If he's Scarf, it doesn't kill. If it's Specs... Actually, what? Can I live? I can live at max health. It's 50-50. Okay, you can King Shield really like me. I don't have to predict anything right now. I can just keep clicking school. Even if he wants to... Um, I could roar and really play mind games with him right now. The ballsy play of staying in with Low Punny is what I had to make, and it appears to have paid off. He can't switch. Two Scalds will kill him, even if he stays in shield form. Which is perfect. Sacred Sword. Burn? No burn! Still no burn! He's gone for an attacking move. Sacred Sword, that's all he can do. I mean, if he King Shields now, there's... I mean, I can... No, I'm going to click Scald. There's no reason for me not to. If he King Shields, that's fine. A, a Scald will kill him when he comes out of defen... Uh, when he's in defensive form still. Come on, dude. You have to leave in five minutes. <laughs> He's giving up. He's giving up on that this fight because Vaporeon wins it all day, every day. Still no school burn, though. Now he has to pick a move to go in, to lock himself into. So we'll see what he goes for. He'll probably go for Thunderbolt. I don't even think a crit. I'm going to let Vaporeon die here. I'm going to see what he goes for, just so I can uh, go for that potential um, score difference. So I've clicked Protect. We'll see what he goes for. I see this ending in 2-0.
So you go for focus. If he goes for focus blast, it's what he has to click, really. Clicks Thunderbolt. Vaporeon. You have done wonders this game. And I am honored to say you will not go down without any sort of service medal thing because. Oh my god, I lived! What? He's timid! Timid specs! And that's the game! That is the game! Come on! Sears, that's for you, man! Sears, that is for you! Oh my god, they. Oh god, I forgot to record my kills. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Um, Buys, that was such a great game, man. I thoroughly enjoyed that battle. Um, Guys, make sure you go check out his channel. I'll leave a link to it um, in the description below. Um, that was such a good game. That is his first loss as well, which means we are now on two wins, one losses, uh, one losses, one loss, and uh, we're mingling up there. We are mingling up near the top. And now, maybe the haters are looking at me like, actually, this this, this guy isn't too bad, you know? This, this Dolphinatic fellow, he's, he's not too shuffy. I mean, it did, um, it did come, obviously, because um, they have a prediction. Oh, with his, with his, um, Clefable, that cost him the game, but I'm, I know I probably didn't play my best, but I also played well with what I could. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this battle. Um, make sure you go check out all the links below. Uh, buys his Twitter, buys his channel, my Twitter, my channel, obviously. TBU, Twitter, TBU channel. Um, you should follow it. It's a great league. Um, and us in the PPL, obviously I'm a PPL representative. We're getting on really well. Um, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy and you're enjoying my trip in the TBU. And I'll see you next time. Bye.